Ever found yourself cuddled up in bed with your trusty mobile phone, scrolling through social media, or catching up on the latest cat memes? It's a common bedtime ritual for many of us, but did you know that this cozy mobile phone time can come with a side of not-so-cozy risks? Yep, we're about to spill the beans on why bringing your phone to bed might not be the dreamiest idea. So fluff up those pillows and let's dive into the techie adventure of bedtime mobile madness. Number 1. Sleep Snatcher Your mobile phone screen emits something called blue light. Sounds harmless, right? Well, during the day it is, but at night it's a completely different story. This blue light tricks your brain into thinking it's still daytime, even when it's pitch dark outside. This can mess up your internal body clock, making it harder for you to fall asleep. Also, the constant notifications can be a nuisance. Your phone loves to buzz and ping even when you're trying to sleep. These notifications can wake you up or prevent you from falling asleep in the first place. Research has found that even just expecting a message can stress you out, making it tough to relax and drift off. And let's not forget the endless scrolling. You might start with a quick check of social media, but before you know it, it's 2 a.m. Phones are like time-eating machines, and that time should be reserved for sleep. Several studies have linked excessive screen time, especially in the evening, to poor sleep quality and disturbances. Also, using your phone in bed keeps your brain active when it should be relaxing. All those videos and updates stimulate your brain, making it harder to relax and fall asleep. This is because the stimulation from your phone can suppress melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. Number 2. Tired Eyes Alert Ever notice how your eyes feel like they've run a marathon after a late-night mobile phone session in bed? That's no coincidence. Your eyes work extra hard when you're glued to that glowing screen. Let's break it down. First, staring at your phone in the dark causes your pupils to dilate. It's like they're opening up wide to let in more light from the screen. Now, imagine your eyes doing squats but never getting a break. Ouch! Now, this blue light we mentioned earlier, it's a sneaky troublemaker. It beams from your phone and it's like caffeine for your eyes. When this light hits your eyes, especially at night, it can make them feel strained and tired. You know how you sometimes squint at your phone because the text seems smaller than an ant? Yep, that's eye strain kicking in. Your eyes strain to focus on the tiny letters and they don't get a chance to relax. And guess what? All this eye strain and fatigue can add up over time, potentially causing long-term eye problems. Number 3. Back and Neck Pain so, you're all curled up in your comfy bed, phone in hand, hunched over to get a good look at those memes or texts. Feels good in the moment, right? But your back and neck, they're not fans of this hunched over party. See, when you're hunched over, your spine and neck are not in their happy, natural positions. They get strained and stressed out. It's like asking a tree to bend in a way it's not meant to. It's gonna feel the pressure. The weight of your head is not light, especially if you've been scrolling for a while. And what happens when you keep this up, night after night? Your muscles start complaining. They tense up, ache, and before you know it, you've got a back that's as grumpy as a bear with a thorn in its paw. And let's not forget, if you've been in this position for hours, thanks to that addicting phone, it's like doing a workout you did not sign up for. Not the kind of exercise your back and neck are fond of, for sure. Number 4. Messing with your mind Alright, let's talk about how that little gadget might be playing tricks on your mind. You must have heard the saying, you are what you eat. Well, in the digital realm, it's more like you are what you consume. When you're in bed, scrolling through your phone, your brain is soaking it all in, whether it's memes, news, or updates from friends. But here's the thing, not everything you consume is sunshine and rainbows. Social media can be a swirling pool of highs and lows from delightful puppy videos to gloomy news stories. Your brain starts to process all this, and it can affect your mood and thoughts, especially before bedtime. And oh, the comparisons. Social media is a garden of comparisons. You see people traveling to stunning places, achieving milestones, or showcasing their seemingly perfect lives. Your brain might start comparing your life to these highlight reels, and that can stir up feelings of inadequacy or anxiety. Moreover, the constant bombardment of information can make it tough for your brain to relax. Your mind is buzzing, processing, and trying to keep up with the endless stream of data. It's like trying to take a peaceful nap with a rock concert going on in the background. 
it's not exactly a recipe for a calm mind and restful sleep. Number 5. Fire Hazards Smartphones have batteries inside them, and batteries can get hot. When you're using your phone in bed, especially under the covers or on a soft surface like pillows or blankets, the heat from the battery can't escape easily. It's like your phone is snuggled up and getting all warm and toasty. Now, normally, smartphones are designed to handle this heat and disperse it safely. But if they're covered or in a place with restricted airflow, things can get risky. Heat can build up, and if it's too much, it might cause the battery or other components to malfunction or, in extreme cases, catch fire. Now, I don't want to scare you, but it's important to know about the kind of energy your phone emits. It's called electromagnetic radiation, and every electronic device, including your phone, gives off some of it. It's low-level radiation, so in small amounts it's generally considered safe for us. However, keeping your phone right next to you, especially under your pillow or close to your body for long periods, means you are getting prolonged exposure to this radiation. It's better to be cautious and not expose yourself to it for that long. Keep your phone a bit away from your body to minimize this exposure and stay on the safer side of things. What should you do? Number 1. Digital Detox Hour Pick a special hour, let's say one hour before your usual bedtime. This is when the superhero magic begins. When that hour rolls around, you declare your bedroom a no-phone zone. Toss that phone far away! Now, with your phone out of sight, it's time to get ready for a good night's sleep. Maybe read a book, play some chill tunes, or jot down your thoughts in a journal. Let your mind relax, you know? Oh, and don't forget to dim those bright screens. Bright lights mess with your brain, making it think it's still daytime. We don't want that when it's time for dreamland adventures. To make this a part of your routine, you have to promise to stick to it every single night. Maybe set a reminder on your phone, before the detox hour of course, so you don't forget. Find fun things to do without screens, and give it some time. Soon it will be as easy as counting sheep. Number 2. Relaxation Rituals so, imagine this. Your room is all cozy and dim, and it's that time when you usually get lost in your phone before bed. But hey, we're trying something new! Instead of reaching for your phone, how about trying some relaxing rituals? First, let's talk about creating a mini bedtime ritual. This is like a calming routine that tells your brain, hey, it's time to relax! Maybe start with a cup of herbal tea. Sip it slowly and let it soothe your mind. Then find a comfy spot and do some gentle stretches. Stretching eases the tension from the day, and it's like a little gift to your muscles. Next, think about adding in some deep breathing exercises. Breathe in slowly and deeply through your nose, and then exhale through your mouth. With every breath, let go of the stress building inside. And hey, have you heard of the magic of aromatherapy? Using a few drops of lavender or chamomile oil on a diffuser can make your room smell amazing and relax your senses. It's like inviting calmness to hang out in your space. Lastly, consider doing a bit of light reading, like a chapter from a book that's not too exciting or a soothing poem. Let the words carry you away into a dreamy state. Number 3. Practice Mindfulness and Stress Reduction Often we reach for our phones because we're seeking distraction from our thoughts or our day. Maybe it's been a bit stressful, or perhaps we're worried about tomorrow. The phone becomes a quick escape, a way to avoid being alone with our thoughts. But when you start practicing mindfulness regularly, something fascinating happens. You're no longer in a rush to distract yourself because you've learned to sit with whatever is going on inside you. It's like having a friendly chat with yourself. So here's the connection. As you become more mindful, you don't feel that itch to grab your phone as much. You appreciate the stillness, the quiet. You might notice the wind rustling through the trees, the distant hum of traffic, or the softness of your blanket. These little things become interesting and captivating. We get it. Bedtime without your phone seems like a wild idea. It's like asking a cat to enjoy a bath. Feels impossible. But hold up, you're more awesome than you think. You've faced tough stuff before, right? This is just another hill to climb. And trust us, the view from the top is pretty sweet. It might feel odd at first, but hey, you're gonna rock this unplugged bedtime gig. Imagine yourself cozy in bed, maybe with a book in hand, totally relaxed. No notifications buzzing like an annoying fly. So here's the challenge. Tonight, 
Just try it! Lock your phone away, dim the lights, and let the real cozy time begin. You got this, bedtime superstar!